Okay, I have the Holy Stone 720 first flight and we shall see it's up and we're gonna compare it to the mini 3 pro and the mini 4 so obviously size comparison and flight comparison as well as well as video comparison so here we go I have a couple batteries they have to be it's fairly big and uh, the blades are not that huge so we'll see how it does the app is called Ophelia fly Okay, the remote is now talking to the drone has connection okay so it's a little flaky connection uh, but I think it says we're ready to fly and now it's ready all right I think we're ready to take off and you have to unlock the propellers right there and you take off with this so there's a little bit of a breeze so we're gonna test is the hover mode hover mode is always very interesting how strictly does it hover so right there wavering a little bit let's move forward and as I move forward you could tell it went to the left and it's trying to go back to the right so this is what you get with this drone the hover is not that awesome and it's kind of unsettling because it doesn't have obstacle avoidance that's the hover right there it's a decent hover and now let's spin it so as you can see it's spinning at about a three feet three foot radius and the altitude is changing as well and then when we stop it's still going it's trying to find its center so what these drones do GPS based drones is they, they they try to remember where they are before your last input and then after you stop doing your input if you didn't change your your setting your your location it should return to where it is so it's not exactly where it is unlock the prop and then take off so it goes up and it dives pretty unsettling right it goes pretty low so this is what makes beginner drones hard when you have low cost drones so let's go up a little bit is them maintaining their hover okay so let's go forward a little bit And you can see it wander, wander around. Let's go back. And there's a lot of wandering around. So this is what you get. You don't get the best hover. So let's rotate. And rotation is usually a good test of how it tracks its location. So it is going up. And it's on a radius of about five six feet changing elevation as well so if you're in a small space this is a little disconcerting because you don't have obstacle avoidance let's go spin the other way oh so when we stop it tries to correct itself see now it's going pretty a little bit high so let's turn right losing elevation as we turn Okay, so the hover is just not that awesome and then yeah it's moving around moving around okay now let's uh let's actually fly this thing let's go forward one thing with drones is they kind of attract hummingbirds you think uh hummingbirds think they're brothers So that's normal speed. Let's go high speed. High speed's a little better, huh? Okay. Hummingbird over there. All right. So let's uh, adjust. Oh. 
so it's all over the place it's a little bit of a breeze maybe a 10 mile an hour breeze so this is a camera we'll try to take some photos so the coloration on the display is pretty bad okay it means i can take photos while filming and now let's go up so there is the video it is pretty stable with the three axis gimbal it's so it's usable now finally from holy stone but the colors are a little blown out they are not really accurate uh, they're a little faded and then uh, boosted up a little bit so we we're going to compare it to a couple other drones here so here is the mini 4 pro which is the same as the mini 3 and mini 3 pro camera so the exact same day and you could see the more realistic resolution on the right side uh, and then when you zoom in that's when you really see the difference of the detail of these things so a little blown out especially when facing the sun and here is the dji mini 2 uh, this is on a different day a little less light but you could see how nice the mini 2 image is uh, also when the when the holy stone rotates it's a little bit unstable on the video so for a, definitely a beginner tool all right so there it is the landing is you know about six feet away all right let's do a follow me so follow me from where you are oh okay okay it doesn't want to be that close uh-huh so follow me he just has his set distance of how far to follow and then maybe we can aim the camera a little bit low okay and now we'll do a a landing all right pros and cons finally we have a three axis gimbal on a holy stone and it is usable but on the cons it's 400 too much versus the dji mini se or the mini 2 and it has poor flying characteristics camera is not that good and the features like follow me they don't really work so not quite there